Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've seen two examples in the previous video based on what? Based on the operation economics of hydrothermal coordination. We see two more in this video. Let's get going. Example number one for the day. What does it state? Okay. A power station having a maximum demand of 200 megawatt and a load factor of 65 percent. So 200 megawatt and a load factor of 65 percent and has to be supplied by one of the following schemes number one you have you have three options to supply this load so number one is to supply it with a thermal power station that is capable of supplying the whole load and is located near the load center Number two is you have to, you can supply it through a hydro which is located far away and you would have to, you have to have a transmission line, so which means transmission line losses would be involved. And the third is, this would also be capable of supplying the whole load, okay. And the third is that the thermal power station in coordination with both, with the thermal and hydro coordination. This is the third option. With the hydroelectric supplying units, now we have a condition that the hydro would supply E energy units that are how many? 600 into 10 to the power 6 per year with a maximum output of 40% of the maximum demand. 40% of maximum demand so this would be the number of energy units supplied by the hydro and 40 percent of the maximum demand would be the maximum power output of the hydroelectric station if they are both running in coordination for the following data compare the overall cost so what do you have is uh, for thermal for hydro you have number one is thermal the second is hydro so first would be what first would be the capital cost and that is what uh, that is per kilowatt of the installed capacity or the maximum demand so that is 3000 and for this it is 4800 similarly then you have the interest and depreciation factor which is involved with the capital cost so that is 10 percent for both then you have the operating cost and that is what on the basis of the kilowatt hours so for the thermal it's 30 and for the hydro it's 10 and then similarly you have transmission line cost transmission line cost and that comes with per kilowatt hour so this would be included with the variable cost so this is of course not applicable in the case of thermal and then for hydro it is rupees 5 per kilowatt hour so what do you have to do is you have to consider the overall cost of electricity and let me know from where should i take the electricity so first of all the annual energy requirement my annual energy requirement e so this is fld into the maximum demand into time so fld uh, 200 into 10 to the power 3 fld is 60 percent and this is yearly so my annual demand is 1051.2 1051.2 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hour these much are the energy units that i require annually now case number a if i go for thermal if i go for thermal so what do you have is fixed cost variable cost and this thing again so fixed cost would be what would be 3000 per this much maximum demand and then you have what the interest and depreciation factor involved as well so 0.1 so the fixed cost comes out to be what 60 into 10 to the power 6 60 into 10 to the power 6 per year of course then the variable cost so the variable cost would be this much 30 rupees per kilowatt hours kilowatt hours are this much 1051.2 into 10 to the power 6 so this comes out to be 31536 31536 into 10 to the power 6 the total cost would be the fixed cost plus the variable cost so this comes out to be what 31596 
थ्री वन फाइव नाइन सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर सिक्स और इन टर्म्स ऑफ पर यूनिट सो कॉस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वुड बी अ टोटल कॉस्ट पर टोटल यूनिट सो थ्री वन फाइव नाइन सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर सिक्स डिवाइड बाय वन जीरो फाइव वन पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन टू द पावर सिक्स सो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी रुपीज थर्टी पॉइंट जीरो फाइव पर किलो वाट आवर्स दिस इज फॉर थर्मल दिस इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फॉर थर्मल नाउ इफ यू गो फॉर द हाइड्रो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर हाइड्रो इस केस नंबर बी सो फॉर हाइड्रो अगेन आई हैव द फिक्स कॉस्ट विच वुड बी फोर्टी एट हंड्रेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द मैक्सिम डिमांड which is 200 megawatts and then i have the interest in depreciation factor of 0.1 again so what do you have is this is 96 96 into 10 to the power 6 per annum this should have uh, come a little uh, you know uh, this should have been more than that it should have been more than that This is sixty. Yes, this is sixty. Yes, this is more than that. Yeah, this, correct, correct. Nothing, nothing. Then what do you have? You have the variable cost. So the variable cost is what? It's ten. Ten on the energy units one zero five one point two into ten to the power six. So this comes out to be one zero five one two, right? Yes. So this would be one zero five one two into ten to the power six. the operation the transmission line cost is now involved over here i would have to add this with the variable cost why because this is in, this is depending on the on the what the transmission line cost so that is again rupees 5 per kilowatt hours so that is 1051.2 into 10 to the power 6 and the total variable cost so you add these two you add these two so i will just write it directly over here is the variable cost is this thing this is this is for the generation and then for the transmission line you would have 5 multiply this thing so this is for the transmission line so the total variable cost that i have got is 15768 15768 into 10 to the power 6 per year then you could have the total cost which is the fixed cost plus the variable cost comes out to be 15864 15864 into 10 to the power 6 and then per unit cost would be 15864 divided by divided by 1051.2 and this comes out to be rupees 15.09 15.09 per kilowatt hour hey well the overall cost of the hydro is cheaper but then again you have got constraints the availability of water what is multi purpose you need the same dam with same reservoir for irrigation purpose as well you have seasonal variations rainfall and this and that similarly with the thermal the constraint could be the fuel prices and fuel shortages etc international markets international relations so a number of constraints but over here mathematically this is cheaper right then part number c is if we go for coordination of the two if we go for the coordination of the two so what do you have next what do you have next so the total load demand is 200 so out of which out of which uh 40% would be provided by the hydro right yes so which means the hydro ph i would write ph would be what 0.4 of 200 so this would be 80 megawatts so which means 80 megawatts would be provided by what would be provided by the hydro and similarly the energy units are also given the energy unit for hydro are also given which is 600 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hour so these will be provided by hydro so can you not do the calculations by yourself can you not do the calculations by yourself you can which means then the the thermal would provide what the remaining units which means 120 megawatts of power and similarly the power of the uh, of the the energy units of the thermal would be how much the total 1051 minus 600 so that is what that is uh, 451 right uh where is it 1051 
minus 600 so this would come out to be what uh, 451 yes 451 so these would be the units that would be provided by by this thing now you can do now you can do the operational analysis you can do the operational analysis which means what for the thermal let's say first first i go for the thermal so the fixed cost would be what would be 3000 multiplied with the maximum demand that it is providing so over here now it's providing 120 and you have a depreciation factor of 0.1 what does this come out to be 36 into 10 to the power 6 similarly the variable cost now would be what the variable cost would be 30 multiplied with the energy units now this these are the energy units 451 into 10 to the power 6 so this comes out to be how much 13536 13536 into 10 to the power 6 right yes similarly now if you go for hydro so for hydro what do you have the fixed cost is this one 4800 multiplied with how much now multiplied with 80 and an interest and depreciation factor of 0.1 this comes out to be 38.4 38.4 into 10 to the power 6 variable cost variable cost is what 10 multiplied with energy units so energy units for hydro are 600 into 10 to the power 6 plus for transmission line cost 5 into this much units this comes out to be how much? 9,000. 9,000. Into 10 to the power 6. So now which means what? The total fixed cost would be for thermal is T, T. For hydro is H, H. So the total fixed cost, fixed cost total is the fixed cost hydro plus fixed cost thermal. So whatever this is, just add these two. This comes out to be uh, 74.4 in 10 power 6. 74.4 into 10 to the power 6. Similarly, the, uh, the variable cost total. Variable cost total would be variable cost thermal plus variable cost hydro. And this comes out to be... Uh, where is it? 22536. 22536 into 10 to the power 6 per annum. So which means the total cost. Total cost would be the total fixed cost plus the total variable cost. And this comes out to be 22610.4. 22610.4 into 10 to the power 6. And this implies what? That the cost of electricity would be what? The total cost of electricity per unit would be this thing total cost divided by total energy units demand are this much 1051.2 into 10 to the power 6 and the answer is rupees 21.5 per kilowatt hour so have a look it is greater than this one let is let less than this one lies in between but the problem of fuel shortages the problem of water shortages the problem of rainfalls irrigation water fuel prices could be now a little bit you know neglected or negotiated with why because we are using a hydrothermal coordination the overall cost is also in the range and the problems other factors are also you know could be neglected fine yes sir this is example number one example number two do you want me to do another example or can you do it by yourself? We'll see. A load center can be either supplied by a hydroelectric power station or a coal-fired power station with the following data. So again, you have got what? You have got one is your hydro. The other one is your thermal. What do you have? The capital cost per kilowatt hour, of course, is 4 lakhs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, 4 lakhs. For this one and it is one lakh and eighty thousand for this one for the thermal right yes then you have the operating cost that is per kilowatt hour so that is 10 for hydro 20 for thermal interest and depreciation factor is 8% for hydro 10% for thermal and then you have a reserve capacity you have a reserve capacity of 40 percent with the hydro and 30 percent with the thermal 
compute the load factor at which the overall cost of generation from the thermal and hydroelectric would be the same. Load factor at which both costs are the same. Also find the maximum demand for supplying the number of units are given. Energy units which is 534 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours. Right? Yes. So, energy units is FLD into maximum demand into time. Right? Yes, we know this. E is equal to FLD into maximum demand into time is over here 8760 and this is equal to 534 into 10 to the power 6. Considering the thermal first, what do I have? The total installed capacity. So the total installed capacity is what? So the fixed cost would basically include what? Installed capacity is not given, but the fixed cost is given. So the fixed cost is this much, one lakh and eighty thousand, right? And then plus this is for the installed capacity, which means the committed units. This is the capital cost per kilowatt for the committed units, and then you have the reserve capacity also. So that would also come in this fixed cost, and that is 0 0.3 of this thing. So which means the total fixed cost you would have to multiply this thing 234000 234000 you would have to multiply this thing with it the cost right yes so which means now the fixed cost is what it is 234000 this is the cost multiplied by the maximum demand which is pm and then you have a, a, a 0 0.1 interest and depreciation factor so this comes out to be 23400 2 Three four double zero pm. This is your fixed cost. Similarly, the variable cost would be what? This would be twenty multiplied by e. We don't have e. We have e basically. But let's say it is like this. I just put this value of e. So twenty multiply eight seven six zero. This comes out to be one seven five two double zero. One seven five two double zero into FLD into maximum demand. Fine. Total cost, you can just add the two. You can just add the two. Total cost. This would be 234-00 PM plus 175-200 PM into FLD. This is the total cost for what? For total cost for thermal. Now, if I go for hydro. So, for hydro, the capital cost is basically 4 lakhs. But this is for the committed units. Then plus you also have a 40% reserve. So you also have to include that with it. So this means that you would have to multiply this by this factor 560,000 per kilowatt, right? So which means the fixed cost now in this case would be 560,000 multiplied with the maximum demand which is unknown and multiplied with the depreciation factor which is 0.1. So this comes out to, be, no, 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 no. Uh, interest depreciation factor is 0 0.08, 0 0.08 over here. So this comes out to be what? 44800, 44800 into maximum demand. Variable charges are 10, 10 E. 10 multiply 8760 would be 87600 into FLD into maximum demand. Total cost of hydro would come out to be 44800 of maximum demand plus 87600 maximum demand load factor. Now we are asked to find the load factor at which the both costs are the same. So which means the total cost of hydro is equal to total cost of thermal. So this comes out to be what? 23400 maximum demand PM plus 175200 PM FLD is equal to 44800 PM plus 87600 PM FLD. 
PM cancels out its common. The only unknown is the load factor and the load factor comes out to be how much? 0 0.244 0 0.24 or 24% very low very poor but anyways now now you have what load factor is done you can find the maximum demand how the, the, the energy units are given so the maximum demand comes out to be maximum demand comes out to be E which is 534 into 10 to the power 6 divided by load factor which is 0 0.24 multiply 8760 for hours the maximum demand comes out to be 250 megawatts 250 megawatts this is also done this is also done now what can you do is the next is what you can find the costs can you not find the costs you can how is that so the fixed cost would be what 23500 multiply pm please do it for yourself the variable cost would be what multiply it with these values and you can find out the total cost similarly you can find from here the cost of electricity in the thermal as well by the total cost of thermal divided by the energy units fine similarly then for hydro you have got the maximum demand you can put the maximum demand over here and find the what find the fixed cost of the hydro similarly the variable cost of the hydro so then you have the total cost of the hydro over here then from here you can call, find the cost of electricity per unit which would be the total energy uh, total cost of hydro divided by the energy units which are given do this by yourself and let me know in the comment section the answers the cost of electricity for thermal cost of electricity for hydro do this for yourself and let me know in the comment section and what these are just only putting values right and you would tell me which one is cheaper right so we would buy electricity from that one i believe i finished this video over here I will see you in the next video with whatever the topic may be. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.